What does it take to keep the attention of millions of people for almost 20 years in a tough, fast-paced field like business news? As a key face at Fox News and winner of many awards as a journalist, Harris Faulkner had done just that. But much to the shock of TV viewers across the country, Faulkner has decided to leave the network. This is one of the most shocking on-air splits that happened lately, and many of her fans are wondering what's next for her. Today we're going to learn about Faulkner's early life, how she became a journalist, and her time and success at Fox News. We'll also find out why she left, what she's working on now, and what she hopes to achieve in the future. Whether you've been following Harris Faulkner's story for a long time, or this is your first time, her journey is full of drive, faith, and a dedication to doing her best. Stay with us as we go through this interesting time in her life and work. As a child, Harris Kimberly Faulkner lived in a strict military family which shaped her life. She became very interested in telling stories over time, which made her trip more interesting. Faulkner was born on October 13, 1965, at Fort McPherson in Atlanta, Georgia. Her father, Bobby R. Harris, was a renowned U.S. He was in the Army and a fighter. He served in Vietnam. As a child, he raised Faulkner with the values of service, duty, and pride. This gave her a deep respect for the military and its values. Shirley Harris, her mother, was a teacher by trade and added to her military upbringing by creating an environment of intellectual curiosity and academic desire. Faulkner grew up in a military home that moved around a lot. Because her father was in the military and their job required them to move from city to city, she stayed at almost every military base in the U.S. and abroad. Stuttgart, West Germany, was one of the longest jobs abroad. She was exposed to many countries and ways of thinking as a child because of this. This gave her a broad view of the world from a very young age. Along with her father's personal knowledge of the military and foreign relations, this made her more interested in what was going on in the world. Early on, she was interested in things other than her direct surroundings. This, along with the structure and discipline of military life, helped shape her personality in ways that gave her strength, flexibility, and a strong work ethic. Both of Faulkner's parents were very important in her upbringing. Her father's job in the military gave her structure and taught her values like patriotism and hard work. Her mother, on the other hand, had a more academic impact on her. Her mother, Shirley Harris, made Faulkner intellectually curious and gave her a love of learning that she will never lose. What made Faulkner who he was was the combination of military order and academic curiosity. Even though both of her parents have died her mother in 2016 and her father in 2020, Faulkner often talks about the important lessons they taught her about her African-American background and the principles that her parents taught her. Faulkner went to the University of California at Santa Barbara early in her school career and majored in mass communications there. For someone who knew about world events and stories, this was a reasonable next step. She learned the academic skills she needed to start a job as a journalist at university, and she also became more aware of how the media affect how people think about things. Here, Faulkner started to develop the skills and interests that would later shape her work and put her in a position to tell the stories that shaped both the national and global landscape. After she graduated, Faulkner started her career as a business writer for LA Weekly as a freelancer in Los Angeles. She was paid $50 for each piece, which is pretty low for this business. Still, it was the start of a long and successful career as a reporter. She jumped right into TV and started a job at KCOP-TV in Los Angeles. She had never really worked in public media before this, and this gave her a chance to learn how to make TV news shows and report live on camera. Faulkner moved to Greenville, North Carolina, with the goal of becoming a writer. She started working at WNCT-TV as a reporter and host. In the local news market, which is smaller but more active, Faulkner first felt a wind of on-air momentum, community problems to report, audiences to connect with, and news presented with integrity and a clear purpose. Like her work life, Faulkner's personal life is based on family and times when things are hard. On April 12, 2003, she married Tony Berlin, who used to work as a reporter for WCCO-TV. Where they met was at work in Minneapolis, where Berlin was an anchor. They got together because they both loved the same job, which has been a strong base for Faulkner's business growth. Between them, they have two children named Bella and Danica Berlin. Faulkner often posts about their family life on social media. She seems like a loving, concerned, and helpful wife and mother most of the time. Getting married to Berlin and having a child seemed to make her stronger, even though her main goal had been to balance her difficult job and two children. In her spare time, Faulkner has faced some difficulties outside of work and marriage. In 2015, she sued the toy company Hasbro. When she found out, the company had used her name and picture for a play hamster in their littlest pet shop line. She sued the company for $5 million because they used her name without her permission. 
When Hasbro decided to stop making the toy in October 2016, the case was over. She handled the case in the same tough and focused way she had always done in her work, even though it could have been a huge distraction. She made sure that not only her name but also her good reputation stayed clean. In addition to her career accomplishments and personal milestones, Faulkner does a lot of work to help others and support causes. She has used her fame to promote causes that are important to her, especially those that help military families and people who are in the military. The Green Beret Foundation and the Navy SEAL Foundation are two groups that Faulkner works with to help service members and their families. Because she grew up in a military family, these problems are very important to her because she knows how much our service members and their families have to give up for this country. Faulkner also works with groups like the Susan G. Komen Foundation to raise knowledge about breast cancer and fund research. She really wants to give back to society and use her fame to do good as shown by the charity work she does. Through her work as a journalist and her charity work, Faulkner has shown over and over that she is dedicated to serving the greater good and those who have given their lives for the country, plus people who live in areas that aren't well covered. In the beginning of her career, Faulkner worked in a few local news jobs that often led to bigger, more well-known jobs. She showed that she could do a lot of different things from her start at KCOP-TV in Los Angeles to her time in Greenville, North Carolina. She got her big break when she joined KSTP-TV in Minneapolis St. Paul. At this point, she would go on to become a well-known face in the local news as an evening reporter. Because of how professional and straightforward she was as a newscaster in Minneapolis, it was a big step toward her national job. She won a lot of awards for her great work in Minneapolis, including the Emmy Award for Best Local News Anchor. Soon after, she moved to Kansas City, Missouri to work for WDF-TV, where she did news stories for stations all over the Midwest. While moving from the busy West Coast to the more relaxed Midwest, Faulkner got a much better sense of how American society and politics worked. After these, Faulkner's career took a whole new turn when she joined Fox News in 2005. As a reporter, she quickly rose through the ranks because she could handle big breaking news stories with both authority and compassion. She started out slowly but skillfully, one of her first jobs at Fox News was on Fox Report Weekend, a weekend evening news show where she told a number of stories to people across the country. Before she knew it, she was a well-known figure on Fox News, especially when she was covering breaking news. During her time at the network, Faulkner covered some of the biggest national and international news, such as multiple elections, natural disasters, and major global conflicts. Fox News made a talk show called Outnumbered in 2014. In addition to Faulkner, the show now had two guest hosts every day who were also well-known female writers, Emily Campagno and Kaylee McEnany. The show had four female hosts and one man guest, which was not typical. It is debates and analyses of the news that often help people understand politics, society, and current events better. Faulkner was a great center because he could balance different points of view. Soon, everyone thought of her as the face of the show. The talks and outnumbered were mostly serious, but there were also some funny parts. This gave Faulkner a great chance to show how versatile she is as a journalist. She has talked to a lot of different people at Outnumbered, from leaders like Donald Trump and Mike Pence to celebrities and people who are important to culture. It was hard but fair to talk to her. She never thought twice about asking tough questions, and she always did so in a polite and professional way. Along with Outnumbered, Faulkner had her own show called The Faulkner Focus, which she started in 2021 and gave her more freedom to talk about current events. It aired every day and Faulkner went into more detail about things like racism, the pandemic, and how politics are changing. People began to connect with the Faulkner theme because of her ability to understand and care about others, a mix of the different points of view. Outnumbered wasn't just a different kind of political entertainment show. When Faulkner was in charge, it turned into a place where people of all political views could talk about their views. The way the show was set up made it easy to argue and analyze. As the moderator, Faulkner was very important in making sure that the talk stayed on track. Faulkner stood out in her early years by having smart conversations about controversial topics like immigration, healthcare, and gun control. She handled the exchanges between her co-hosts and guests who were politicians, celebrities, and experts from all fields very well. A lot of people like Outnumbered because it has honest conversations, but Faulkner also had to deal with some drama behind the scenes. With co-hosts who were always debating, the atmosphere called for diplomacy, and Faulkner's calm nature made sure that conversations stayed civil, even when people didn't agree. Her work on Outnumbered solidified her place as one of the top news hosts, but it was also very hard, which made her more confident as a reporter. Harris Faulkner's brilliant work as a broadcast journalist showed that she had always been looking for ways to do things better. With all of the outstanding awards she had won, this won her six Emmys over the years and showed how important she was in the news world. In 2004, while working at KSTP, an ABC station in St.
Paul Minnesota, she won awards for Best Newscaster and Best News Special. In 2002, 2003, and 2004, she also won awards for Best Anchor, the regional Emmy Award she won for her newscast special Eyewitness to War. Solidified her image as a war reporter with a keen eye for detail and a knack for telling stories about people who are interesting. Faulkner's work as a journalist goes beyond winning awards for news reporting. The Amelia Earhart Pioneering Lifetime Achievement Award she received in 1998 for her dedication to making a difference outside of work made her deserving of the honor. Variety's New York Women's Impact Report featured her in 2021 after her high-profile chat with President Donald Trump about the murder of George Floyd. This showed that she can talk about tough and important issues. In the same year, the Multicultural Media and Correspondence Association named her Broadcast Journalist of the Year. This was another honor for her work as a reporter and as an advocate for diversity. Besides the fact that she is a journalist, her job goes much further than that because every day barriers fall and the game changes for women. She won the Power Women of the Year Award in 2023 for her great leadership and impact. She showed how much she cared about important, shocking news when she got a National Headliner Award for her coverage of Senator Paul Wellstone's death in a plane crash, a story that shook politics to its core. Worth Magazine put Faulkner on their list of groundbreakers. The future of news is still being shaped and redefined by her as a leader. As she went through life, Faulkner stayed true to her goals of bringing important problems to light and leaving a legacy of courage, resilience, and excellence for the next generation of journalists. Fans were shocked when Faulkner quit Fox News after working there for almost 20 years. Some of her reasons, mostly artistic ones, have come to light so far. Over the years, Faulkner has grown to love telling stories that are true to her own values, many of which are about faith, patriotism, and unity. Faith in Christ was very important in Faulkner's life, both personally and professionally. She often said that her job was one of service, driven by a mission. One time during the interviews, she talked about how she felt God asking her to try new things. Describe how her faith has affected her job choice and the way she makes decisions. Leaving Fox gave her time to work on projects that helped her learn more about those topics. The media may have changed, which is another reason. Newer platforms gave people more freedom, and Faulkner probably saw the chance to make and host material that wasn't tied to the traditional structure of news networks. The change would give her more time to work on personal projects since she wouldn't have to follow the rules of network TV. Since she left, she has been busy with a number of well-known projects. The most personal is Faulkner's short series Footsteps of My Father, which aired on Fox Nation. In it, she became a combat pilot in the Vietnam War like her father did. This was more than just a job for the reporter, it was an emotional trip to rediscover her family's history of service and sacrifice. This project showed how good she is at telling stories and researching history by combining personal history with bigger national stories. Not only does Faulkner work in films, she also writes. In her books, she writes about leadership, faith, and how hard it is to be honest in public. Faulkner may find that writing is his favorite way to express himself because he can write about these topics in a way that doesn't fit with the fast-paced world of TV news. Faulkner is still a famous speaker who often gives talks at faith-based events, leadership seminars, and charity events. Since she left Fox, her charitable work to help military families and soldiers has grown even more. This is something she's very passionate about because her father was in the military. Ahead of time, Faulkner has hinted at the possibility of more independent media projects that are in line with her own beliefs and ideals. She has recently talked about her plans to start her own media site, telling people about them. This is where she can write long-form stories and material about her faith. In the same way that my father did, Faulkner has recently spent a lot of time writing and speaking in public. She has been able to talk about faith, leadership, and persistence in public because of her books, such as Nine Rules of Engagement and Faith Still Moves Mountains. Faith in Christ has been at the center of her decision-making as shown by these projects. She mostly uses it when she is switching from working for Fox News to working on her own projects. Her continued dedication to public speaking solidifies her status as a TV personality outside of traditional journalism. She often talks about everything from patriotism to spirituality at leadership conferences, military family forums, and faith-based forums. By sharing her story and character through these events, Faulkner is able to reach and touch people who don't watch TV. Harris Faulkner was once very interested in starting his own media company as a way to have more freedom to be creative. She has even hinted that she might start her own platform and work with other networks to make long-form material about faith. The goal is to look into stories and points of view that aren't usually shown in the mass media, especially ones that deal with faith, patriotism, and unity. Faulkner wants to work in the media, but she is also very interested in helping others. As someone who has worked hard for a long time to help military families and soldiers, Faulkner is likely to do even more good things in the community. 
Being close to this work, because her father served in the military, she had a personal relationship with it. Some people even think that Faulkner will keep writing in the future, using what she has learned as a writer and in general. At least so far, her work has been well received by people who like stories about faith, leadership, and getting through hard times. Faulkner is likely to have even more to say about these topics in the future. Harris Faulkner's job has been going for a long time, but it is the quality and range of her work that really stands out. Faulkner has raised the bar for great journalism everywhere he has worked, from small town newspapers to national TV. She was more than just a news reporter, she was a rebel, especially in a field where many people were white. Many of Faulkner's problems were caused by biases in the business. To the stress of having to balance tough political talk on live TV, the fact that she was able to handle these problems shows how tough and skilled she is. Faulkner is moving on to the next part of her career, but her work as a journalist will live on. The Faulkner focus, her role as an analyst on Outnumbered, and her sensitive reporting in documentaries like Footsteps of My Father were how Faulkner made her mark on American media. People who watched her on Fox News may have been surprised by her sudden exit, but it was just her personal desire to grow and follow her calling in life. The fact that Harris Faulkner is leaving Fox News marks a real turning point in her long and successful career. Faulkner has always been dedicated to telling stories, being honest, and sharing the truth from her early days on local TV to her current job as a national news anchor. She is working on other projects that seem to fit better with her religion and personal values. Her journey is by no means over. Plans are being made for new media projects in the future. These will include continuing to write and giving more to charity. With these plans, Faulkner will not only be a convincing figure, but also a key figure in news and public life. It's a story about being strong, having faith, and being completely committed. By all accounts that will continue to have the power to inspire a huge number of watchers and readers, thank you for being a part of this journey through Harris Faulkner's amazing career. If this story moved you, please subscribe to our channel for more deep interviews with important people who are changing the world right now. Thanks for reading. Stay tuned for more. Every stage of life has a new story.